it's your boy here to give you guys a review for love and hip-hop new york season 8 episode 5 called the streets are talking i want to say good morning rise and grind again these videos like, i pop them out in the morning like i said i always give y'all the time i don't have my watch on right now what time is it <laughs> so it's 6 50 in the morning so it's probably gonna be a bit of a quick video but we'll see what we get so hopefully you guys will have it up very soon so it's like 6 50 now it's 12 50 so so 12 50 in the morning in uh north carolina and 11 50 in chicago so all right <clears throat> so start off with safari dream doll actually before i get into it a lot of this is rehash so i'm speaking through a lot of this because it was a lot of rehashing of what was already said or what has already happened so Dream Doll meets with Safari. She rehashes the fight with that Safari feels that he's now concerned about, you know, her meeting um, her, uh, his uh, family. And she's all getting it because it's like, oh, he wants me to meet the family. I don't really fucking care. Rich, Bree, and Navarro. So first is uh, Rich and Bree again rehash the whole Bianca situation where he pretty much told just like, I right, here's the thing, though I don't, you know, condone that sucker shit of throwing a motherfucking shoe, like, but you was mad and correct, like, you fucked it up first. You came in with the motherfucking attitude which spearheaded everything that kind of happened after that. She mentions her grandmother and, you know, Rich is like, well, then you need to focus on what's important and, you know, like, lead a petty shit alone. Navarro walks in and he is a entertainment lawyer, but he's now producing with uh, Anais. And she want to know, like, okay, well, who have you worked with? He ran his credentials. She was like, oh, okay, well, finally Rich coming through with his connections. And uh, that's pretty much it. So now we got Bianca and we got Mariah. So, Bianca's album, or well, she's finishing her album. She feels that Yandy doesn't have her on her radar. So, she's not on Yandy's radar. So, she's pretty much ready to kind of go at it alone. And they re both of them rehash both of their respective events. Mariah with James R. and Sophia Body, And then Bianca with Brie. So, then... Bianca brings up Dream Doll how it's like well she said that if you and I were to jump Bree and she's jumping in pretty much in essence that's what was said I just didn't agree with the fact that Dream Doll brought Mariah into something that had absolutely nothing to do with her starting shit for no fucking reason so of course uh, Mariah ain't happy about that now we got Bianca and Juju so Bianca tells Juju that she has landed a deal with Paramount and Sony but Yanny doesn't know because she feels Yanny isn't devoted. That is something that I probably would not have said. And that's only because one is just like for a couple reasons. One, I always believe that you never announce your next move. You move swift. You move quiet. And then when everything is done, you know, bless off on then you say something. Because you put that shit out too early. Anybody can intercept. So... And at the same exact time, I'm still trying to figure out all the loyalties and everything, but I think that Juju is more loyal to Yandy. And you and even and she hasn't said anything on this episode, but you never know. Actually she sort of kinda did, but I think it went over Yandy's head. But you never know when somebody gets angry how that shit can come out. Alright. So, you know, and then she even said that she feels like people are talking about her or you know to yandy pretty much saying that i'm talking shit about yandy so juju's like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna talk to yandy so now we got mariah and self and she pretty much tells about what bianca said and so whole thing is this is a whole lot of he say she say which he is correct because you didn't hear from the source but at the same time she's just like i don't want what we're building right now to pretty much be compromised but she and her villains and all rights now what i feel should be done is just you know be on your grown person shit and just go talk to dream dog just like i right, well look i heard some shit you tell me what was said easy all right where we at where we at where we at nah, 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 nah. all right so safari dream dog so his uncle was murdered 
uh, he was stabbed, I think, like in the kitchen or something like. I don't, I don't remember exactly what, but he was stabbed and he was pretty much found in his apartment dead. And he says that he's never dealt with a death that close. And you know, I know the feeling. Like I said, I like I said, I feel like the spirit of death sometimes hovers around me because I've lost a uh, quite a few people. And in terms of death, like I lost uh, one of my cousins. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was making the drop. And we pretty much feel like he was set up because all that we know is that he was shot somewhere between like nine and ten times, like front on in the chest. And needless to say, he didn't make it. And like I said, that that, I, that told a lot of people, I was in college and that shit told me smooth the fuck up because that was one of those which is like, man, he was young. <laughs> so... I'm used to the elders passing away. Like, this was one of the first times where it's like, no, nah, no. Nah. So, I understood the feeling and everything. And I kind of had to, like, separate myself from that scene. I'm just like, uh-uh, I ain't really caught up my emotions and shit. It's too early in the morning for that. So, Dream Doll is there and she comforts him. That was cute. <clears throat> so, we got Yanny John and Juju. So, Juju brings up what um, Bianca has shared with her. Jonathan speaks up and says that, you know, he's the one that said it and it was a friend that told him, but he isn't sure of the facts. So, in essence, kind of the same exact thing that we're seeing with Mariah Lynn. So, Juju's like, you know what, I want to have, I want you, Yandy, you and Bianca to sit down. And she was like, Jonathan, if you want to be there, Jonathan's just like, no, I want to be there. Now, Anais and Rich... Uh, Anais holding is like, you know, I need to have a backup plan just in case this shit between, you know, uh, Navarro and Ashley doesn't work out. Again, we all know this is a Mona Me production, but my thing is if you're going to have a backup plan, why sit here and do it so close to your connect? Like, do what Bianca did. Have you, like, do some shit, but keep it all the way over there where the chances of it getting back to Yandy is slim to fucking none. That's all I'm saying. So, you know, Rich uh, talks about, you know, her whole shoe in the water. She was like, what well, was you more attracted to, the water or me? He blushing. She like, why Why you blushing? He's like, you bring it out of me. And he was like, I like the dress. She was like, wait, T-Taste was on the knees, flirting mad heavy. He sees the ring. She was, and in that, she's pretty much saying that it's a prop. And, you know, she pretty much was just like, well, you know, when we get married, kind of pushing that shit on him. And um, <clears throat> what else? She gets over, kind of like undo, undoes his uh, shirt, gives him a kiss on the chest. Because, you know, she wanted to smell his cologne. And then he goes whispering whisper in her ear, but he's kissing all up on the cheek and whatnot. They talked about business, but they really fucking didn't. Then they go up the stairs to do some grown people shit. Okay. And then we end with Yandy, Juju, Jonathan, and Bianca. So Jonathan isn't in initially. So Bianca's just like, look, I'm hearing that people are coming back to you, you know, with the fuck shit. Now look, we we we, we gonna we gonna be gonna be adults right now. I right. first and foremost, that conversation should have been happened solo between Yandy and Bianca, where it's just like, look, I'm hearing this. This is what it is. Where it could have just been those two. All right, well, that shit, again, we all know this among me production, but that shit could have been squashed a long time ago, right? Jonathan walks in, that fucks up Bianca's mood, it would fuck mine up too, where I'm trying to have a personal fucking moment, and then another motherfucker walk in, you know, that, you know, I didn't know about. So, you know, she explains to Jonathan what they're talking about, and Jonathan's like, okay, well, I'm the one that said it. And right then, that sent you know Bianca to another level because she's just like okay so who the fuck so pretty much the whole thing is okay well who the fuck said it and he doesn't want to reveal the sources you know and she gets up to charge him I, I had a problem with that I did <clears throat> I understand your frustration but that is a dude you are a woman and you just charged him now had he got up and swung on you then you will be saying that he's wrong. And even in the midst of it, she's sitting here saying, hey, you know, I got some gay friends that come and handle your ass. It's that third. I'm just like, Lord, she didn't turn up on the camera. Woo. So there's that. <laughs> 
and you know now in his confessionals you know he's being animated you know talking about some you know you doing this because you know i won't charge you back rah, 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 you being a chihuahua now my thing is i wonder was that him trying to retell that situation or is that how he felt at the moment because it ends with him giving her an apology but he's but telling her that i can't tell you who told me now what i will say is <clears throat> Apparently they've met before, but she doesn't remember as one of those where he could have scheduled a sit down with her and been like, I know you probably don't remember me, but da 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 I'm hearing this, you know, it's just one of those where it's just like, he kind of really is in a semi-fucked up situation unless his source knows Yandy. I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, is he wrong for telling her? Not necessarily. But it's one of those where, you know, you sit here and you carry a bone. I mean, hey, when this shit come out, you got to deal with it. And <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. But I, I do feel that they could have handled this in a much more mature way. But it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. That is my review. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. My next video should be Married to Medicine. Is it the next video? I think so. All right, y'all. Peace.